I'll tell you right now, it is weird coming to you guys this far after the end of a Jets game. Obviously, I like to be here directly after the end of the Jets game so that I can be excited or be pissed off and give you my actual reaction. But I had to spend two hours in the car driving back home after visiting family in New Jersey. I went live last night and I talked about this game and I can't believe what I wanted to happen happened. That's so rare for the New York Jets and me. We don't have that kind of relationship. Okay, I said last night that the worst possible scenario was just to get blown out by New England, a shit team, and go, go into the offseason just embarrassed. Now, the, the, the you know losing to them in a close game, I talked about, maybe 21-17, something like that, where both teams put up an effort, but they're, neither of them are great teams right now in Week 18 of the NFL, and the Jets would still have that better draft pick. But I'm not a draft pick guy. Unless you're trying to get the number one, number two, number three pick in the draft to get a future uh, franchise quarterback, then every pick is as good as the next. Every pick is as good as the next. You could have bust set five. You could have heroes in the third round. So it's all up to you, Joe Douglas. Go out there and get our offensive line to protect Rodgers for the next two years or three years. If he's protected and we're making playoffs and making runs towards AFC championship games and all that, he's going to stick around. And you need to protect him. It is now the offseason. It is now your job, Joe Douglas. You lost so much faith from me and all the Jets fans. But the best case scenario is my team winning. And the New York Jets, in the snow, in the snow, beat the New England Patriots in Foxborough. I can't remember the last time that happened. It could have been that playoff game in in like 2010. 17-3. Our defense dominant. Quinn and Williams, Huff, with double did double sacks. Six sacks for the defense. Two interceptions. Thomas Morstead put three of his seven punts inside the 20-yard line. One inside the five. Brees Hall went for 140, 150 yards. And basically, it was put on him. Brees, take this game and win it. And he did. He was the reason for all our big, uh, our big yardage. And then he had like a, I don't even know what it was, a 40-something yard run for a touchdown. The Jets in the fourth quarter scored 11 points. Amazing. And won the game. And I said it before, I'd rather beat the Patriots. And this year, we got two burdens off our shoulders, Jets fans. We got the never beating the Philadelphia Eagles in a regular season game in the history of our franchise is now gone. We don't have to hear it anymore. And now we beat the Patriots, ending that ridiculous, embarrassing streak. And now hopefully we can put that behind us so that next year, when we go into a game versus New England with Rodgers, a a team we should easily beat, the New England Patriots, they're not going to get that much better, but the Jets will be better if they stay healthy. And what are we going to do? We're going to beat them next year. We're going to start our own streak. Because now that burden's off our shoulders. Because you know no matter how good you are, how bad the other team is, when you have something looming on you in the back of your mind, like, oh, you haven't beat these guys in 14 or 15 games, seven years, whatever it is, it could throw your your whole mental state off. The Jets beat the Patriots today. I'm happy. We ended on a good, a good feeling going into next season. We can now enjoy the playoffs, something that I will be talking about in my upcoming episodes of the Jets. Why I hate the Jets. We'll be talking so much going ahead. Who we want to draft, who we should draft, what we should be going for in the draft, free agent signings, trades, all that stuff going to be coming to you on why I hate the Jets, plus a little bit of history, a little bit of my history with the Jets, times that they kicked me in the gut, you know, need me in the nuts. All that's coming up. Thank you so much. Please go down, like, and subscribe. It means so much. I wanted to, by the end of this video, before my next video comes out, I want to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I am like 25 away. So do me a favor. If you're watching this, if you like watching a Jets fan go absolutely effing nuts after they lose a game, this is your spot, whether you're a Jets fan or not a Jets fan. I really appreciate all you have joined me this season. I started, you know, somewhere a little early midway through the season. And my numbers have been great thanks to you people. Thank you so much once again. I am Midnight Mike, and I can't wait to see you next time. That'll be hopefully on Thursday, next Saturday night, back to my normal time, live, 9 p.m., here on YouTube, on X.
We're going to have fun in the offseason. We're going to have some top five, top tens in Jets history, uniforms, things of that nature. We're going to have fun in the offseason. We're going to have fun watching these playoffs. I'll do some reactions to those. But I already said goodbye. So now I'm just being redundant. Can't wait to see you next time. I'm Midnight Mike.